Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I have this creamy Cajun chicken with grits. Recipe for you guys, before I begin, be sure to like the video if you enjoy it. Also subscribe if you're new here and let's begin. All right, here, first thing we'll be doing is cooking our grits. I will leave the ingredients down below for you guys with the measurement. So first thing I am going to be doing is pouring in some chicken broth. We're going to let that come to a boil. Once it starts boiling, you are going to add in your grits. As you're adding your grits in, be sure to whisk it so it doesn't form any lumps. Now you're going to cover it, allow it to simmer on low for about 15 minutes. Once your 15 minutes is over, you are going to season your grits. To season, I am using ground black pepper, salt, and also we'll be making this nice and creamy by adding some butter and as well as some heavy cream in there as well. I'm also going to be adding the cheese of my choice to this grits as well because I want it to be nice and cheesy. I am using mozzarella cheese, but of course you can use whatever cheese that you do like. Now at this point, taste your grits to see if you need any more pepper or salt. If not, just let it simmer for another additional five minutes. Once it is done, you are ready to serve this grits. But I'm going to set that aside, moving on to my chicken. Now here's the chicken. I am using chicken breast steak. It's basically chicken breast thinly sliced, okay? Now to begin, I am going to drizzle about one tablespoon of olive oil on the chicken breast. Once I am done, I am going to rub my hands all over it, make sure the chicken breast is nice and coated with the oil. Then we're going to use our Slop Your Mama Cajun seasoning to season. Generously season your chicken and keep in mind you don't need anything else but this seasoning because it has basically everything, okay? And keep in mind this is a little spicy. Just if you don't like it to be too spicy, try not to add too much, okay? You don't need any salt, pepper because this is literally a complete Cajun seasoning. And of course, we're going to season the other sides as well. And I like to use my hand to just pat in the seasoning instead of rubbing it in. I'm going to coat the chicken with some flour. This is very optional. So what you're going to do is just place the chicken on there, pat it, make sure it's nice and coated. A very light coat, by the way. You don't want it to be too too heavy so once you are done you're going to set the chicken aside and keep doing that until you are done with all of your chicken now 
Now to cook the chicken in a hot skillet, I am going to drizzle about two to three tablespoons of oil. Once that is nice and hot, you are going to place your chicken in there. Now this is about medium high heat, okay? Because you want a nice coat and the chicken will come out nice and crispy, okay? So place that on there for about a minute or two. Once your chicken is nice and golden brown on one side, flip it over and allow the other side to cook. Here's the chicken once it's done cooking nice and crispy and of course it's nice and golden brown. So now we're going to make our Cajun sauce. In the same skillet, I am going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Once that is melted, you are going to be adding in your bell peppers and as well as the onions. Once the onion and the bell peppers are nice and soft and translucent, you are going to be adding in your garlic. I like to cook the garlic last, that way it doesn't burn. So you're going to give that a quick stir until it started to fragrance. Once it starts to fragrance, you are going to pour in your heavy cream. And also I like to add a little bit of cheese. I am using Parmesan cheese for this recipe to make it nice and creamy and a little bit cheesy. So just add that in, stir it together and to season. I'm also using the same seasoning, Cajun seasoning. Just pour a little bit of that in there, stir it, taste it to see if you need any more seasoning and boom, there you have it. Your Cajun sauce is ready. Now tell me why does the chicken looks like fried catfish, right? Anyways, I am going to cut my chicken just like that. Once I am done, I am going to place it on top of my grits. Oh yes, yes, yes. And you are going to come in with the creamy Cajun sauce right on top. I've never seen anybody does this, so I'm like, let me try some some chicken with grits, and it tastes absolutely amazing. Okay, just give this a try. This is a nice brunch, breakfast, dinner recipe. You name it, it goes well with anything or any time of the day. Thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up for me. Help me out. Let's get it to a thousand likes. Can, can we do it? Yes, we can. And also subscribe if you're new here. I'll see you guys on the next recipe. Bye.